For these people, the good news is the bank's not bust. The small cooperative banks in Cyprus have escaped restructuring. But there's not much else. They're allowed to withdraw 300 euros, but they can't cash checks. This man also had money in another bank, Bank of Cyprus, and some of it has gone. I'm angry because I lost a lot of money, a lot of money, maybe 50,000 or more. I see this country going down to the pit for the next two or three years. But it's not our fault completely. We have the European uh, friends and allies, as we thought, which, when the time comes to help us, they told us to go to hell. And that's what we are now, in hell. No more Europe. Forget about Europe. We don't want Europe. Finish. The savings of large depositors in two big banks are being raided to stop the country going bust. But it's not just big depositors suffering. Those who put smaller sums aside for fixed terms are seeing their money frozen. Well, I think it's very rotten way. Um, you, you, you save up all your life, you're working, you try to put a bit of money one side, and when you get old age pains like myself, you to draw a little bit of money out to get by, you're stuck. They tell you you can't do this, you can't do that. Capital controls were imposed to boost confidence in the banks, and they were working calmly today. But the problem now is confidence in the government and the euro. To generate a bank run, you actually have to be able to take your money out of the bank, and these people can't above 300 euros a day. The real danger lies beyond here. First, that savers across Europe see scenes like this and remember them next time there is a wider crisis in the European Union. And the other problem is with big deposits. They're not insured above 100,000 euros and about 28% of the money in European banks are big deposits. Will they now, seeing this, seeing the raid on the rich, on company deposits, slowly, not in a dramatic way, begin to remove their money from any bank that looks weak or looks backed by a weak sovereign? Paul Mason, BBC Newsnight, Nicosia.